Hey guys, this is Arkale here, and it is time for a workstation tour. Yes, I know you guys have been asking to see um, my drawing workstation, and um, so yeah, so this is video is going to be about where I draw. Um, as you can see, it's a desk. Um, if you've ever been to my uh, DeviantArt, you probably have seen this already. Um, picture of my desk and all of its glory. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go th like basically just go around the entire thing and point out some stuff, whatever, and show you where I keep my art materials. And uh, yeah, so gonna get right into that. So I'm gonna start over on this side, work my way up, go to the center, and then over here, because over here is the best part. So <laughs> go over here first. Woo. All right. So, to start, I have this little, like, cubby here, um, in my desk, and I basically just cram a crap ton of stuff in here. Um, I have some screen cleaner from my computer, uh, some pencils, lotion, gotta keep my hands nice. Um, this is some, over here, is some, uh, gesso for painting, um, masking fluid, Hello Kitty. I have some random, just random cute things on my desk, too. This is nail polish over there. Unicorns. I love unicorns if I didn't already say that. Aren't they so cute? Um, anyway, um, I have a little bank over here which I use to save money. Um, I'm trying to save for something very expensive at the moment. So, and it happens to involve one of my characters. So, that's my little savings bank. Um, right over here, I have my art light. And I have this Pikachu on here. It was actually a Christmas ornament. Um, but I put this little, like, it looks like it has a hat on. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and then my art light. This can, like, move up and down and stuff. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, got my pin holder over here from Disneyland that you put pins on and stuff. Um, this drawer here has a lot of my art on it. Um, if you've seen the picture uh, of my desk on DeviantArt, and you've all seen these, and all these pictures are on my DeviantArt. Um, these are just some that I cut out and stuck on here just because, you know, to add some color and cuteness to my desk. Um, go ahead and show you guys the inside. Take this off. This is my graduation pin from Disneyland from when I graduated high school. Squeak. Um, this is the inside of my little cabinet thing. Um, I don't really have anything too interesting in here. I have my copies of ooh, Creative Suite, Adobe Creative Suite, um, stuff like that. Uh, this, this is my old box of, right here, down here, my old box of Prismacolor standard pencils. It was like the 36 set. Now I have the 132. This is my old very thin box, which is like, I don't know how many is in there, but that's my old one. I have a bigger one now. Um, up here is where I keep my watercolor stuff, my watercolor stuff, my um, sculpting stuff, any other random media that I don't really do too often I keep in there. And all that is like cards and taxes and important papers and whatever, so that's boring. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my little cabinet. Um, I have, if you can see, I have this drawer right here. There's like a hair dryer and my camera stand is underneath there. I uh, have this little drawer here, and this basically looks pretty much like the outside of my desk, crammed with a bunch of colorful nonsense. I love post-it notes, so I have a bunch of those. Some of my crayons. I'm getting more crayons soon. Yes! Ah, crayons! Um, I have some cute little napkins, or tissues, more post-it notes, um, little kitty paintbrushes, <laughs> uh, some scissors, a comb, some craft glue, and lots of lead for my pencils, and some Hello Kitty lip gloss. So silly. I'm um, in the drawer below it. It's kind of difficult to open and close, but I don't really have anything too interesting in here. Just my box of nail polish, because I love nail polish. And uh, my boxes of pastels are in there too. There's also some paper in there, but it's not really paper that I use too often. So, uh, oh my god, that's so hard to close. All right, um, so that's pretty much that side. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the top here and start over here in the corner. Oh, I also keep art on my walls, some of my art. Um, just some of my favorite pieces along this side. 
and it's working its way up over in my desk. But that's so so far all I have up there right now. Um, so yeah, so people walk in here, they can see some of that, because my parents are always showing off my art. It's so embarrassing. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so I have these little ceramic figures that I painted to look like my characters over here. They're both rabbits. Um, some little decorations for my desk. Um, these are my little art mannequins um, that I can pose and stuff, and they give me pose references. Um, I honestly don't use these as much as I should. I have a smaller female one over here. Where my finger? There. This is the smaller female one here, and this is the bigger male one. Um, yeah, and I should really use these more. Um, and this is a tater tot container from Sonic, which is the best restaurant ever. Um, so yeah, and behind that, I have a bunch of manga. Um, I really don't have that much manga. This is like, I have pretty much the same amount on another bookshelf, but that's pretty much the, my entire manga collection. Like, multiply this by two, and that's about it. Um, yeah, I can't really afford a lot of manga, even though I love, 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 love reading it. I absolutely love manga. Um, but yeah, there's just some of the, like, a few that I really like. Got Fruits Baskets, um, Blood Plus, Bleach is over there, if you can see it. Um, yeah, so I got a little bit of that. Um, I don't have a lot of manga. <laughs> sob, sob, sob. Um, over there, um, I have, I probably can't see this. Let's see, alright, that's better. Um, I have my eye dog, which plays music and stuff. Um, that ceramic heart thing right there. Um, I painted. Uh, I'll go back over here. This Pikachu I won at an arcade for way too many tickets, by the way. Um, I have this little Pepsi cup thing with a Hello Kitty and some stickers. Um, inside of it is a rainbow macaw feather. That's a real one I got from the zoo. Um, I have a Kokeshi doll here. Kokeshi dolls are so cute. I put that little peace sign on top of its head. It's really a bracelet. <laughs> um, yeah, and a little ceramic Lucky Cats thing. One of those little... Do anyone else remember these little hamsters that you press the button and they run around and... Alright, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this... Interestingly enough, this little red container thing that I have right here. Um, actually, all of my art stuff... Used, when I was like first started drawing, all of my art stuff used to fit in that red container. Of course, now it's taken over my entire desk, but yeah, just a funny little piece of information that you can imagine, all of my art stuff used to fit in that. Um, so anyway, yeah, I pretty much just decorated it with a bunch of like little art things. Got some little gel pens there, stuff I got from an anime con, little buttons, and keychains. Um, my friend made this lovely little leather pouch, it's a coin purse, and it has a little sleeping Snivy on it. Snivy is like my favorite starter ever, so, yeah, and this other little leather thing, it's like so cute, so, I love that so much, it's, it's so cute. Anyway, um, yeah, and then up here I have some of my pencils, um, some colored pencils, some more pencils, no, come back here. Um, I usually don't use different types of pencils when I shade. Probably should, but I just like using one pencil, honestly. Um, I have some little clips up there and some stickers. This little light-up Tigger pen. See? <laughs> um, that little Hello Kitty book, I actually put names in that I like. Um, if I ever hear a name that I really like, I put it in that book. And then if I have a character that I want to find a name for, sometimes I'll look in there, of course. When I name characters, it's much more complex than that. But I put, you know, names that I like in there, just, just because. Um, got a bunch of other random little things here. Got an old school My Little Pony from, like, McDonald's toy or something. Little jewelry boxes. Um, I got a Sailor Moon sticker on here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, little radio and some candles. Oh, and I have my hand mannequin here. Oh, so helpful. I can't draw hands to save my life, but the hand mannequin definitely helps. Um, so I have that. And over here, uh, I like to stick my art in random places on my desk. Um, the smaller pieces anyway. The ones that I haven't got around to sticking um, on the wall yet, or just too small to put on the wall. Um, so I have this, of course, which you've seen uh, in my drawing video. And behind it is a whiteboard that I doodled on. Yeah, that's a whiteboard. I will draw on anything using any materials. You guys probably know this by now. <laughs> um, behind that is actually some how to draw manga books. Uh, to be quite honest, I actually think I only bought one of these 
because it was a really good one. Um, these other ones, like these two in particular, over here, these two, are not really so great. Um, I also don't really like them. Um, but they were actually given to me as, like, gifts, because people think that, you know, oh, oh, she draws manga, she must need this. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, they've given me that. And I have learned, some like, a few little tips from that, but um, honestly, I I'd rather not learn from how to draw manga books and learn from actual people um, and their tutorials on DeviantArt and YouTube and such. So, yeah, but they're still cool to have. And I got some Pokemon, like, I got a Pokemon walkthrough book back there. I don't know if you can see that. And some other little art books you can't really see. Um, Alright, going to go over here. Um, yeah, yeah, if you guys didn't notice, um, I keep a lot of like inspirational like sayings up on, um, on my desk. Um, and I just really like having these here because I can just look at them every day and they just remind me of some kind of um, metaphor or something in life that I should remember. So I can just read these every day and just make sure that I keep all these things in mind. Um, you know, having words of encouragement and having uh, these little sayings really helps me anyway, so I keep those on there. Um, I recommend anyone do that too. So, anyway, um, here I have a sketchbook that I'm using. This is one of my current big ones. Um, below it, I have um, just some other like random like sketchy things and random loose papers and whatnot. Um, this stack of paper right here, I don't know if you can see my finger, this stack of paper like right in here. Um, is actually all of my Pokemon Gajinka drawings that I did. If you've been on my DeviantArt, then you know what that is. Like, I did this project where um, I would draw a bunch of Pokemon in human forms, and yeah, that is a giant stack of them. And I kid you not, there is like five on each one of those pieces of paper. So, it's a lot. I actually had those all on my wall before I moved, um, but now I don't, I can't put things on the wall, so they just kind of sit there, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, um have a hole puncher and a little Zoroark figure from McDonald's that they did a while back. I really wanted the Snivy, but Zoroark is cool too. I'm actually thinking about painting it in the shiny colors because I have a shiny Zoroark. Um, this is a bunch of makeup and stuff in there. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that row. I'm going to go down here, and this is a question that I get sometimes. What kind of computer do I have? Um, that light. I have a light behind me, so I can you can see my desk. Sorry for that. It's it's nighttime right now. Um, so this is my computer. Actually, maybe I'll just stand up. All right. This is my computer. Um, it's a 21 inch iMac, I believe. Um, yeah, and there's my keyboard and my trackpad. Um, yeah, I got some little Vocaloid stickers on here that I got at an anime con. They're so cute. Um, this is my colored pencils. These are like um, my neutral colors, and I pretty much use these like all the time. These are the colored pencils that I use on pretty much all my drawings at least once. Um, this little unicorn thing, <laughs> interestingly enough, I put this on the colored pencil that I last used so I remember which pe um, pencil that I was using. So that's pretty useful. Um, in this little container, I have a bunch of random stuff. I have a stapler, an extra eraser, um, some little lens cleaners for my camera. Um, and smelling salts. I can't stress enough how amazing smelling salts are. Um, I get really sleepy and stuff because I'm just naturally like really sleepy. Um, it's just a condition that I have. So um, whenever it gets pretty drowsy, um, I just use the smelling